They're waiting for you. Are you ready? Coco's always ready. But I ain't move until I get some decent clothes. Now, I thought I made that perfectly clear. Hey, I gave you $200 for some clothes. Where'd you get these at Goodwill? Decent clothes is what you asked for, and decent clothes is what you got. Alfonso King. What's this bitty calling herself Coco Delange? Everybody's got his thing to do, Sergeant. Well, I sure don't envy you boys at the Attorney General's office trying to look after this hot piece of cheese. Turning state's evidence in a Harlem racketeer don't lend a living very long, does it? Well, what the hell does? Christ, if you don't die of cancer or a heart attack, you go through the windshield of your car. Hmm. Well, she's got a mouth, for sure. Look, she's in here only for contempt of court. So if she's got such a big mouth, how come she wasn't willing to testify against her boyfriend before now, huh? Like running half the rackets in Harlem, New York, and trying to buy a piece of Reno, Nevada. It's two different things. She knows you guys are going to get them sooner or later, so why should she keep taking the rap for them? Can't see why some people want to stop a little honest enterprise just because it's black. The man's a racketeer. He doesn't exactly do everything legal, Lieutenant. The things they're trying to nail him for are not my idea of honest enterprise. So you never heard of racketeers in Nevada before now, huh? Besides, they can't prove anything on this kid. All he's doing is the same as groups who send in a white guy to buy a house for a black family in Beverly Hills. Now, what the hell's wrong with that? Well, if it was my neighborhood, I wouldn't like it. Is that all I have to sign? Don't get upset, Lieutenant. All you need now is the body. What a body. Yeah, yeah. What's the holdup? You ready? Yeah. And who are you? Lieutenant Ramsey Miller, Attorney General's office. But for your protection, you just call me Ramsey. Sounds cozy. Yeah, let's go. A year and a half without even committing a crime. Lady Coco, where have you been? Come out and meet the people. Welcome back to the game of life called Pop Goes the Weasel. Just like a child delivered from all evil Don't you hear that drummer playing Pop Goes the Weasel Get to the back of the car, Coco You smell that, Lieutenant? I don't smell anything It's the smell of pine and balsam It's the smell of freedom Let's go <laughs>
weasel. <laughs> the body aches, the body cries, the porridge a regal. Hey, mister, won't you satisfy? Pop goes a weasel. Smarts to give me a fingernail file. If she didn't, we'll get you anything you need. You got that right, because that's the way my deal goes, right? I said we'll get you anything you need. Hey, tell me something, will you? What? What's that? This is Officer Douglas Fuller of the Carson City Police Department. Now, he'll make sure that you show up at the hearing tomorrow. And when we get to the hotel, you two will register as husband and wife. Oh, yeah? Well, that should take care of an immediate need. Well, well, does it talk or is it fully automated here? Very funny. Doug? You got nothing to say. It does talk. Congratulations, Ramsey. I see they've raised the standards on your civil service test. have been made for you. Will you please sign in? You have room 1010. Your baggage, please. Uh, it's on its way. Front. I'll take the key, sir.
there anything else I can do for you, sir? No, that's it. All right, let's go, boy. I know we'll do it. Hey, is this the biggest you could get? It's big enough for you, little lady. You're only going to be here one day. Well, in that case, I'm going to need a few things. Yeah? What kind of things? You know, little girl things. Hair stuff, nail stuff, perfume stuff, that kind of number. Okay, later. Now. Okay, later. I don't want it tomorrow, I want it now. All right, all right. And tell Ed Yo-Yo, I want some conversation. When Coco talks, everybody talks. I'll be back in a while, Doug, and don't open the door to anybody but me. Lots of luck, Dougie Poo. Modern. Let's get it straight. My job is to make sure you get to the hearing in the morning. Now, I could think of a lot of things that I'd rather do than play nursemaid to you. But as long as it has to be this way, we can make it easier on ourselves. You'll cooperate. Okay? Hey, we the man of duty. I don't need your old protection. The attorney general thinks so. The attorney general? He don't know his ass from a hole in the ground. Hungry. Tell me what you want. <laughs> well, I think I'll have some vicious was, some escargot, asparagus with hollandaise. Cream spinach. Oh, and some mashed potatoes with butter. Lots and lots of butter. Chateaubriand. Wine. Some strawberry shortcake. Two strawberry shortcakes. With tons of whipped cream and a milkshake. Where do you want me to send the body? <laughs> ha ha. Just order it. I'll eat it. Hey, my man, you're gonna have to do something about this confusion on the walk. I can't eat my strawberries with this staring me in the face. Now, one of them has to go. The strawberries would be easier. You're right. No, you're not right. Strawberries are aesthetic, but this painting's a fuck-up. You see, the basic difference between abstract, modern, and traditional art is a quality in time, not value. That's Percival Reed's London art critic in his book, Understanding Art, published in 1963. Do you want the strawberries or not? Yes. Emphatically, yes. But that excuse for art lessons has got to go. See if they've got a Medigliani. That would go just great with my strawberries. <laughs> Who knows? She might be right. <laughs>
So I brought some of the things she wanted. Fingernail polish, eyebrow crap, that sort of thing. Well, my man, I didn't know you were hip to that sort of thing. <laughs> when you get to be my age, if you ain't learned it, you ain't gonna. There's something I wanted to ask you, Ram. Uh... Well, don't sit there chewing it, spit it out. <sighs> this is an important job, right? Very. When that little broad spills what she knows to the grand jury, it's gonna blow the lid off half the rackets on the East Coast, especially Eddie. And him and a lot of other creeps will be leaving this country like a Sunday morning Christmas rush. Yeah, well, that's just it. I mean, if this job is so important, why'd you pick me? Because you're a good man. Oh, don't bullshit me, man. I mean, you got no black officers in the DA's office, so you come across town and you get one off the deep. But why me? I mean, why a patrolman instead of a detective with some experience? Captain said you had a good record. Anyone could handle himself on a beat like yours. You mean in the ghetto? It's a tough place. Down there, you have to think for yourself, and that's what I want here. Don't worry about it, though, Doug. I checked you out all the way. You work hard. Ain't nothing glamorous about our work. It's simple duty. But you're like me. You know how to do it. You trying to tell me we're brothers, Rand? <laughs> God, I don't give a damn whether you're black, green, orange, lemon, or banana. You've got character. You're the one I wanted. <laughs> Besides, <laughs> you can run faster than me. You got that right, Buster Brown. Look at his shit. What? This is not right excuse for a dress. That's what. You want another one? Spare me, Ramsey. With your taste, you'll probably bring back something from a Sears catalog. I gotta check into the hotel. Thought you just went to do that. No, I had to, you know. It's... Yeah, who is it? A uh, room service, sir. Your order from the kitchen. Good afternoon, sir. And a very good afternoon to you, sir. Uh-huh. Hmm? Hmm? Ah! Voila! Uh, that'll be all. You can just leave it here, okay? Well, I hope you enjoy it, sir. Well, he'd better, because he's certainly going to have to eat it. Say what? Well, you didn't ask me if I liked it. Well, do you want it or not? No, I changed my mind. <laughs> would the lady care to uh, reorder? Yes, she would. You see, after a hot shower, one needs something light. Like a royal Caesar salad with a light wine. Zinfandel. After a hot shower? <laughs> but of course. <laughs> Caesar's salad. Zinfandel. <laughs> Try it. I mean, it's really not healthy, you know. What ain't healthy about it? E eating hot things after a hot shower. It slows down the body process, makes your skin flabby. You see, the vital juices in animal spirits are directly affected by the amount of sustenance invested into the corporal body. Uh, Rene Descartes is in his autobiography in 1630, published in 1938. He was a French philosopher, and he once said, any but... All right, all right. I believe you. Get out of the stomach. Oh, right away, sir. <laughs> I'll see you later. trouble with most of us is we ignore our instincts. You take liver. If you don't like it, you shouldn't eat it. If you don't like spinach, you shouldn't stick it in your mouth and tell yourself it's good for you. You'd probably choke on it. Take cigarettes, for instance. If you like tobacco, you should smoke it. Everything you want to do is not necessarily the best thing for you. Doctors say smoking causes cancer. 
Oh, doctors. You ever see a doctor live past 60? You tell a doctor you got health insurance and to get paid, he take out every fucking organ in your body. <laughs> What's so funny, don't you believe me? That's just it. I do. I remember when I got it in Nam. Nam? Yeah, in Vietnam. We were on patrol in one of those dinky little villages. I don't remember the name of the place. I got stupid, stepped in a hole with a tiger trap in it. Bunch of bamboo spikes nearly tore my leg off. By the time they got me back to the base hospital, this doctor thought gangrene had set in. He wanted to take my leg off. I told him if he touched my leg, I'd blow his head off. I'd rather die than be a cripple. Well, sounds stupid to me. I'd rather live myself. Forget it. I don't think you'd understand anyway. What's to understand? So a soldier loses an arm or leg or whatever. You ever think of what you people do to people when you bust them for a traffic ticket, possession of a little grass? You don't just take away an arm or leg. You take away the whole freedom. And you wonder why people are always screaming, fuck the pigs. I think you've got your values a little mixed up. A soldier has no control over his destiny. The people you're talking about do. Freedom's just another word for love. Janis Joplin, Columbia Records, 1971. This ain't gonna get it. I wanted my day's freedom to have some time out. That's what was promised me. And that don't mean a mental jerk off between you and me. Okay, what do you want to do? I want to get out of here. I want you to take me back downstairs to that dress shop so I can buy something. I can't do that. Oh, not to worry. I won't be any trouble. I just want the fun of putting on a new dress. I got my orders. Fuck your orders. You're paranoid. Obey your orders. I'm going to scotch your leg blown off. Hmm. I just want to feel like a woman again, and I won't be in any trouble. Now, why don't you break down and have a heart? Pigs don't have hearts, remember? And you creeps ain't got no honor either. Now, I want what was promised I could do and have and say what I please, remember? Within limits. Limits, my ass. It is the unwritten bylaws of the American cop-out creed. I only regret that I have but one cop-out to give for my country. Nathan Hale, 1776. And they hung his ass. I think you've got your quotes a little mixed up. Forty feet with that bull, Buster Brown. Will you stop calling me that? It'd save yourself a lot of trouble if you just let Coco have what they promised you. Well, that's not the way I read the orders. What did they do, huh? What did they do? Take away your think machine when they say shit, you stupid grunt! Get your clothes on. Really? Yeah, really. Oh, wow. Wow, are we going to have fun? We're going to have a good time. And I'm going to look so pretty. Oh, thank you, Mr. Policeman. Thank you so much. <laughs> Don't thank me. Thank the tiger trap. And remember, no trouble, right? That will be good. And another thing. No more philosophy, okay? Philosophy's just another word for discretion. John Sheldon, 1650. <laughs> and no more bad language. But, madame, surely you're not. Uh, your order from the kitchen. Voila, Caesar salad. Yes, but it's not spaghetti. But, madame, you ordered the Caesar salad, you see, with the Zinfandel wine. You made a mistake there, and I know just what you did. When I said spaghetti, you thought of Caesar, so you bought me a salad instead I... of pasta. But I forgive you. It's a natural mistake. Come on, Doug. But, sir! That's okay. I forgive you, too. Oh, you forgive me, too? Oh, that is wonderful that you forgive me. You are so noble. Put it under. He's got six. Hit it.
21. Give him money. You know you got lucky that time. Okay. You gonna play it all? Do it again. Hit it. She's got, she's got 10 up. Hit it. Splitting tens. Can she do that? Marker for eighty, please. Eighty dollar marker. Can she do that? Got it. Hello. Say the lady. <laughs> when you got you out, honey. How many? Okay, one more time, my man. Where the co cocoa? Where? The Be kind. We played that one good. I played it good, you dummy. Try again? No. You greedy. You can't be pushy in this life. You got to take your... Hey, hold this for me, please. Oh, my $20. No, this is... This for my man, Ray. Thank you, Kevin. Just have Thank a good you, life with it, honey. Thank you, honey. Come on, we got shopping, honey. We got to buy me some new clothes. Come on. Well, that broad's got to be the luckiest, stupidest broad I've ever seen. She made every dumb play. Yes, ma'am. Can I help you? Yes, I want to buy some clothes. Anything special you'd like to see? Yeah, everything. No, um, <laughs> I would like to see that dress there in a size five. I think the one in the window is a five. Huh. How about that, Dougie? You didn't win that much money. <laughs> oh, would you have a cute pair of pants and a nice little top for me? Yes, I'll bring it into you in the fitting room. Okay, thanks. Straight ahead. Okay. Faye, would you please... Can I help you? Yeah, my uh, chick would like... I mean, my wife would like to... Uh, honey, you tell her. Some night clothes. Surely, I have just the thing for you. Come with me. Newlyweds. Hey, how you doing, buddy? What's happening? Just getting married? Uh, yeah. Yeah, me too. Can you believe it? I'm living with her for three years and we never wear a stitch of clothes. <laughs> and now we get married, she gets shy and she wants to wear night clothes, man. Can you dig that, brother, man? <laughs> it's kind of silly. Oh, man, right on, brother. Hey, by the way, my name's Arthur Orwell. And I'm Chicks Marie. <laughs> you can just call me Artie, buddy. My name's Doug, and uh, my wife's named Coco. Oh, Coco, I like that. Oh, that's nice. It looks beautiful on you. Thank you. I'll be back in just a minute. In the meantime, try this on. OK. And finally decided to make it legal. And what the hell, if it doesn't work out, Reno's only 30 miles away, buddy. All right. <laughs> Are you staying in the hotel? Uh, yeah. Right on, that's two, that's it, ain't it? 
Hey, do you like this? On you, but I don't look good in orange. Do you think he'll like this on me? Whatever's right. We just got married. We lived together for three years. I didn't dig it, but it's the only way he could handle it. Oh, it's really strange now. Now that it's legal, I'm getting so scared all of a sudden. Not to worry. It'll work itself out. I don't know. Now that we have that piece of paper, I'm getting so insecure around him. Just tromp around in your beaver, honey, and don't worry about it. You just get married, too? Yeah. Kind. Coco, you didn't. <laughs> oh, well, they'll never miss it. Just wanted to get the swing of things here. Mm. Hmm. Hey, you finished all your shopping? Yep, did good. Me too. Yeah, she nearly finished off the bankroll, I'll tell you. I didn't, honey. Well, no, she really didn't. So what are you guys doing tonight, man? We don't know yet. Oh, wow, man. There's a great band in the dining room. Well, we don't know. Oh, come on, Coco. Why don't we all have dinner together tonight? I don't know, really. Oh, please try. It'll be a lot of fun. It's not funny, no alone. Sorry, honey. Yeah, thanks a lot. Well, uh, we'll see you later, okay? Oh, come on. Want us to pick you up? No, don't bother. Maybe we'll see you later. Uh-huh. I can dig it. It's the same scene as our pet, man. <laughs> right on, brother. <laughs> Where are you going now? Well, if you must know, I'm going to shit, shower, and shampoo. Hello. How's it going, Ramsey? Smooth. Is the little bird in your golden cage? That little bird's got a moth on her like a hawk. Well, take good care of her. She's a valuable piece of property. Jim, I ain't lost one in 18 years. And I don't intend to have anyone pluck her feathers. Well, stay with it. Yeah. Hey, I got a problem. Doesn't everybody? What's your problem? Well, I can't get this on my back. So? Well, would you? Feels good, too. Wait a minute. There, now you can get all of it. Who does this for you when I'm not around? It doesn't get done. How many showers have you taken today? Not enough. Oh, did you ever try to wash the stench of a prison off of you? 
A hundred baths wouldn't be enough. You seem to have had it pretty comfortable. Sure, they can buy you frills, but they can't buy freedom. It's like, it's like a disease eating at me. I had to get out of there just one day. He should have known that. He? Eddie. How did you get mixed up with him anyway? How does anybody get mixed up with anybody? It doesn't figure. You're hard outside, Coco. But I think you're soft on the inside. Why'd you prostitute yourself like that anyway? Oh, prostitute my ass. It was fun. Besides, he was good to me. Besides, how else would I get a chance to get the kind of things he could get me? You know, clothes, jewelry, and respect, too. Some respect. He's just a cheap hustler. Cheap? He was only the first black man to buy into Nevada. How many black men you know buy into the cream? That's why they want his ass. They want? We want him because he's a criminal who defied the state laws of Nevada. Black hasn't anything to do with it. That's the biggest bunch of horseshit I've ever heard. Boy, they got you so brainwashed, it's pitiful. They wash away everything except your blackness, but you sure damn well try hard enough. Coco, I don't think you're that stupid. You've got a lot to learn. Well, not your kind of lessons. Your establishment bullshit. Your yes, sir, Master Ramsey. Lift that barge, tote that bell. Yes, sir, shit. Your black loyalty is a bunch of bullshit. At least he took care of me when I was in the joint. If you're so loyal, why are you testifying? Because I... You know, I haven't been this close to a man in... I know. No, you don't know. You don't know. It's like when the softest thing around you is a shower. And you gotta share that with a lot of other girls. And their bodies are bouncing and rubbing against yours. But after a while, you kinda like it. What's the matter? Doc, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's right? Tell me what's right about it. Doug, I don't understand. Better get dressed. That's out. Out my ass. I want to go out for dinner. No way. I want to go out for dinner. That was part of my bargain. One free day to do as I please. You don't think I bought these fucking clothes for the members of the committee, do you? It can't be done, Coco. It's too dangerous. Dangerous for you, but a necessity for me. Get the menu and order anything you want, but you eat it in the room. That's it. You just blew it, Buster Brown. This birdie ain't gonna sing, so you just call your boss and tell him I want to go back to the slammer. 
But Coco, be reasonable. Fuck you! I was better off in the slammer. At least I was first cabin there. Cause Kitty saw to that. Who is it? Ramsey. What bet you? Where's Coco? She's in the shower again. It's her escape. What the hell's happening here? She wants me to take her downstairs to dinner. That's out. Yeah, well, tell her that. I can do that, too. She copped out on us. What? She copped out on us. She wants to go back to jail if she can't get what she wants. Christ. It's a simple case of blackmail. 18 years on the force. And now this. I got retirement coming up, buddy. <laughs> Gee, I'm not gonna fuck that up. Take it to dinner. I can't do that, Ramsey. What do you mean you can't do that? Well, I couldn't control a situation like that. What if they tried to hit her? Hell, I'll be there. Well, that's not enough, Ramsey. What if somebody... What's with you? You falling for this broad? No! Look, I just don't want to see her get killed. All right. All right. We got the other choice. We take her back to jail. Either way, we've lost what we started out with. It's never an easy business to... Hello. Dinner awaits. Hello. Hey, I'll be with you nice boys in a minute. Thank you. I'm going downstairs. I still don't like it, Ram. There's no other alternative. I want to check the place out and make sure there are no creeps around. Now, what time do you plan on taking her down? Half hour, right? Right, and then relax. My instinctive nose tells me there's nothing to worry about. Nobody knows she's here. See you later. Soda water. Indigestion's killing me. Got it right here. Looking people around? Nope. Who's he? Well, he's probably in on the junket. Where? Sicily? Pardon me, but uh, I seem to know you. Place to face, uh, Cleveland. Never been there. I'm from San Francisco. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you were someone else. Oh, stick around. I'll buy you a drink. Uh, no, thanks. I don't drink. It's, it's bad for my complexion.
for a favor, sir. Glad you guys can make it. Great. Honey, honey, come here. Same as we're having here. They're great. Love them. <laughs> I'd rather not drink. Well, I would. Don't you think you should eat something first? Uh-uh. <laughs> it's been some time, you know. I know it. Got something else. You guys want to come up to my room, man? Why? Oh, man. Do you smoke? Yeah. Beautiful. I got some of the best shit in the world, and it's from Turkey. Hey, uh, Dougie, uh, do you smoke, man? No. No, I don't smoke. Well, whatever's fair. Coco, let's go dance. Come on. I'd love to. Is that all right, Doug? No, I don't. Come on, Coco, let's go dance, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is he always so lively? Yes. Let's dance. Huh? Uh, I don't think so. Let's go. It's nothing like that. It's just that I gotta let this dude know that's over. You know, the persistent kind. Yeah, don't I know. Women, man. Hey, listen, man, relax. She's okay. Come on. Hey, you know, you can't be too possessive. We're only married to him. We don't own him. She makes me a little nervous running around like that. Hey, you gonna help me? Sure. What do you want me to do? I'm gonna get to a phone and page him. I'll go to front desk. Hell, why don't you come up to my room and telephone him? Then you can have complete privacy if you want him to come up and see you. Yeah, that's good. Okay, come on. Come on. Hey, this one's the hot one. Come here. Oh, wow. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Excuse me. What happened? Where'd you she go? Just got into the elevator with the other girl. Where are you going? I'm going to ask her for a room number. No, 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 I'll do that. You go up to our room in case you're headed up there. Go! Go! Big Joe downstairs? I should have known something was going mm -hmm. on. What are you doing here? Hey, look, look. After you've been locked away for a year and a half, you think I'm not going to take advantage of a chance like this to see you? Hey, now look, 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 woman. If my girl can take all those chances you've been taking for me, go through all that shit, well, I can take a few chances for you to make sure you're all right. You are all right, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I'm all right now. Yeah. I just wanted to get out of stinking joint and be back with you. Yeah, well, soon, baby, soon. You know, I spent over a hundred grand trying to get the courts to get off their butts and try and make a decision on your appeal. And my people say it should be this month. Yeah, well, you tell them to hurry it up there. Yeah, well, I wish they'd hurry, too. I just can't stand that place. It just messes with my mind. Not even be able to see you. Blaming you, hating you, loving you. Not being able to tell you what I'm thinking. Hey, now, baby, don't. Baby, please, don't do that. I'm here now. It just gives me the chills, Eddie. But then I had this brilliant idea to bullshit my way out of there. By letting them think that I was going to testify against you? Boy, did they eat that up. I've been dining, dancing, new dress. Do you like it? Mm, yeah. <laughs> On the stage. <laughs> <laughs> You're too much, you know that? There ain't nobody else for me but you. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I just wish I could have told you. So glad you found me. You and those honeymooners. Oh, well, I was a little confused. But you know me, baby, I always like to check things out, cover myself. Yeah, I know. I've been watching you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good-looking company they got you traveling with. You mean Doug? You don't have to worry about him, hey. He's just a little boy scout doing his duty. You're the only man I know. <laughs> Yeah. Well, baby, this um, Boy Scout, has he been asking questions about me? You know, wanting to know about my business? Cops are always talking. They always want to know something. But I didn't tell them anything. You didn't? Hell no. Why should I? Well, you know how tricky they can be. You know, maybe back up at the prison, somebody, anybody, you know, asking questions about me or uh, the things that you've seen me do since we've been together. Hey, Eddie. 
kind of like I'm your woman. And I've been in that cell block for over a year protecting you. Now I haven't, and I won't say anything. I know that, I know that. It's just that I was... It's just nothing. Now, I need you, and it's been so long. Yeah, I know, I know. I needed you too. But there ain't no time now. Oh, hey, now look, you're gonna be missed, girl. And you know I don't like to rush those things. <laughs> now they're gonna have everybody in the scout pack up here looking for you. If you don't hurry up and get back to your room. But Eddie, she just... Ah, ah. Soon, baby. Soon. Okay. Okay. Coco. I'm always close. Just you and me. Remember that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, pager, please. Ram, yeah, they're not even registered in a fucking hotel. I just called a desk and never heard of them. What about Arthur? You lost him. What? No, she's not here. Okay, I'm coming right down. Can I get my room through here? Sure. Thank you. Smell around here. Yeah, and I'm getting the same odor. Devil's Fuller, Devil's Fuller, Devil's Fuller. This is Douglas Fuller. Hi, Doug. Coco. Where are you? Oh, I'm here in the room. Stay there, we'll be right up. She's up in the room. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh. 
talk. I wasn't going to say anything. What? I wasn't. I wasn't going to testify. I should have trusted me. Damn his black soul. I just wanted to get out. He was here, Doug. Doug, get him. He was here. Here, he... here in the hotel? Yes. Whoever did this is probably in Reno by now. Not if I can help it. Don't be impulsive, Doug. You'll get reckless. Watch it, Ram. Get him, Doug! You get him!
And I danced with him, son of a bitch. Doug, did you catch them both? Arthur's out in the pool and she... He's in the bathroom. Marie? Some dude in drag. Shit. Well, come on. The lid's coming off here, and I want to get her down to the police station in Carson City where she'll be safe. So the vacation's over, and I'd left word at the desk for you to follow us there. Well, let's get the hell out of here. Come on.
Coco? Coco, I'm sorry. Hurt and don't have to be forever, and this one won't be. Especially if that car catches us. What? Eddie must pay pretty well. These people never quit, do they? Can you lose him? Well, it's 30 miles to Carson City. Look, I'll drop you off around the next corner. Now, can you find some place to hide until I can bring help? Uh, yeah, I've got a friend that's got a boat at the marina. Slip 42, the Seagull. Got it. Hey, Ramsey, let me have your gun. I got an empty one. What if they catch me? You've got a hell of a lot more padding than we do. All right, get ready. Now. And I ain't swimming Lake Tahoe. We have to walk. What are you doing? Shh. Not to worry. You ain't the only Boy Scout around here. What? Uh, shh. Oh, it pays to have a little trade. Okay, I started this mother. Let's see if you can drive her. And he's got a hot shower. I think it does. But if it doesn't, I know what we can do. Everything changes so fast. But I understood, Eddie. You know, I could have turned him in a million times. Why does he think I do it now? Maybe he didn't know that. Yes, he did. He knew me. I never really knew him. 
You know, all those times in Harlem I've seen him in action. Cold, practical. I've seen him hurt people for far less than what he thought I was gonna do. I thought he knew I was different. I was his woman. A businessman like him can't afford the luxury of sentiment. You're a nice man, Doug. Just doing my job. Is that all I am to you? Your job? Do you want me to commit myself? If you don't, I will.
Don't turn around. Keep your back to me. Your other friend is floating out on the lake. What the hell are you talking about? I thought you were dead. How'd they miss you? Wrong boat. We were on the other one. This one didn't have a shower. How much, Ram? What'd you do it for? Forty? Fifty thousand? I don't know what you're talking about. You're never gonna get a chance to spend it. You got nothing on me, Doug. I'm betting my 18 years, clean years, against you. You were the only one that knew we were here. Not true. I called the precinct, which is why they're responding. Headquarters isn't gonna believe you. You've got no proof, and they'll never believe the cunt. Why, you murdering bastard. Holy Coco. He's right. That's one thing about the letter of the law. You've got to have facts. That right, Ram? You got it right, kid. Ah, oh, the son of a bitch knows we don't have any proof. Shoot him, Doug. Turn around, Ram. Slow. What do you think Eddie will do now? Would he go according to the letter of the law? What do you mean? You know Eddie, baby. What would he do if Ramsey crossed him? He'd have his boss for breakfast. Give me my gun back, Ram. Here's the one you killed him with. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna make you a hero. 18-year veteran slays mobsters. Wait till your employer reads that little gem. Now, now wait a minute. Lieutenant Ramsey just killed a couple of men in a gunfight. Find one below and the other one's out on the lake. He saved our lives. Lieutenant Ramsey's a damn good cop. Let's go, Coco. A lot of talking to do. Just about an hour. So what else is new? You know something? This is the first time I felt really clean in years. I'm finally gonna be free. Freedom's just another word for love. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me, what is life? I'd sketch it on an easel. Then I'd name my masterpiece. Guy gets girl, the good guys win. Hooray for flag and eagle. Well, that's the way this story.